first guest tonight is an Oscar and Golden Globe winning actress and delightful human being. You can see her co-starring alongside Anne Hathaway and many more in the Just In Time for Halloween movie, The Witches. It premieres tonight on HBO Max. Please welcome Octavia Spencer. Hello. 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 I like your um, corded headphones. You're going old school there. I, I, you know, I think I would lose the little ones that aren't attached to anything. So this way, I, I, I always know where they are. Can I tell you, I think I've lost a couple in my head. Like, there are at least three of them <laughs> rattling around in my brain right now. How are you? Did you watch the debate tonight? I did watch the debate tonight. Now, you're, a big, you're a big Trump supporter, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I don't like to say bad things about anybody, so I'm gonna just let that go. <laughs> what did you think? How, how, what do you think? It was better than the last one, right? For sure. It was better than the last one, but we also now have a very low standard. Yes, don't we? we do. <laughs> <laughs> I think the fact that this show is on television proves that. What, <laughs> did, how old were you the first time you voted? Uh, was it right away? I in was 18. 18, uh, yeah. Yeah, my mom had aspirations for me to either be a, a doctor or a lawyer, then on to be a, 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 jur a judge, so. Oh, wow. Was, yeah. That's what yeah. mom had planned for you. Was she disappointed? Well, uh, well, she passed away, so I think she had to help me, you know, fulfill my dreams because, you know, who wants to go to law school? <laughs> yeah, sorry, mom. <laughs> I won an Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> And, um, and were you, like, a, one of those kids that was politically involved, like, interested in all that stuff? I loved it. I mean, I was a part of the um, Congressional Youth Council, and we went to D.C., and um, it, one of the things that you got to do was meet, go to Congress, watch Congress in session, and then meet your state rep. But I didn't want to meet my state rep. I wanted to meet Ted Kennedy. Oh. So... Uh, yeah, but that was against the rules, but I kind of broke the rules and, and snuck into his office. Oh, how do you sneak into Ted Kennedy's office? Um, not well. <laughs> <laughs> I basically waited for um, the Alabama youth to, to leave, and then I found his office and um, walked in and was like, I'm here to see my state rep. And because uh, I'm from Alabama, uh -huh. I didn't realize my accent would give me away. <laughs> and his secretary was like, where are you from? And I thought, uh, I had met some kids from Massachusetts. And I thought, well, uh, uh, and they said Newkirk, Newton. I couldn't remember. <laughs> and I said Newkirk. And um, basically, long story short, um, his secretary literally could have turned me in because that was so against the rules. But instead... I didn't get to see Ted, but she gave me a, a Massachusetts State pen, so. Oh, um, you got a pen. I got a pen, <laughs> but here's the thing about that pen. The, the thing about that pen, though, is everybody thought that I got to meet Ted Kennedy. I <laughs> see, and that's what's most important, right? <laughs> exactly. Are you back working now? Have you been able to get back to work? I started working three weeks ago. Oh, okay. um, it's, it's, yeah. It, it's right. weird, right? The whole thing is weird. All the rules and, and the everyone's in scuba gear. Everyone's in scuba gear, but you know what? I appreciate it so much because I, I feel like our industry really is taking this seriously to protect everybody on set. I mean, it's crazy that the film industry is more secure than the White House. It's a little nuts. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it doesn't make <laughs> nothing makes sense anymore, does it? Nothing, uh, nothing. I, I know that you had a uh, a big, a landmark birthday uh, over the summer. Did you get to celebrate that birthday? Not in the way that I had wanted. I was going to go home to Alabama to be with my family, and then do a dinner here with my friends, and then take my my uh, company to Hawaii because you know that's where we were going to do our retreats. Uh -huh. in Hawaii, and then none of that happened, and I didn't get any of the airline tickets money back, by the way. Oh, really? You had to eat the airline tickets? I ate the airline tickets for 10 people. Oh, no. Oh, happy birthday to you. Yeah. <laughs> the big 5-0, and I lost 5-0. So there you go. <laughs> did anybody give you a cake or anything, or just that? I it was not the birthday that I had wanted, but my friends put together this surprise for me that I didn't know. Like, they got a lot of, you know, people that I've worked with and that I like to do a special video for me. And it was like- Oh, the that's big, nice. Yeah, 
Yeah. Uh, like you famous people you're talking about? Well, uh, one, one, well, a few, uh, you know, Chris Evans is a dear friend. Oh. Um, uh, Katy Perry is a dear friend. And then Keanu Reeves, you know, like surprised me. And of course I started crying like, Keanu, oh God. <laughs> you know, he's so <laughs> fabulous. <laughs> is he a friend of yours or is he just somebody you like? Yeah. He's somebody I like and, oh. and my friends know that. And it was like the sweetest thing that, you know, on a, uh, I think it was a Sunday. I can't even remember what day it was. It, but, um, you know, he sent this video in and everybody was looking all weird, you know, and I was wondering why everybody was calling me and FaceTiming and stuff. And everybody was like, there was a pause. And I guess they wanted to know how I felt about the video, but I hadn't received it yet. Oh, I see. Yeah, you're right. So everybody's like, hey, anything going on? Hey, yeah. 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 How you doing? So of yeah. all the people you've like worked with and, and people you admire, whatever, you had all those people make videos for you. Yeah. yeah. And I'm I just checking because I didn't I get a request at all. But um, <laughs> it's, uh, it's all right. I'll, well, I'll hit you up at 60. Uh, all right, Octavia. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we will see uh, a clip from your new movie, The Witches. We'll be right back. Is she wearing gloves? Long ones? Up to the elbows? Was she wearing a hat? It looked like she had a towel on her head or something. And when she talked, did her voice sound ugly and scratchy like an outhouse door swinging on a rusty hinge? I feared this was happening. That lady you saw in the grocery store was no lady. What you saw was a witch. That is Octavia Spencer in The Witches. I love the lightning. The lightning <laughs> is, by the way, your director is Robert Zemeckis, a great director who made Forrest Gump. He made uh, uh, the, all the Back to Fu the Future movies. So this is a man who knows his way around lightning. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> That, and and um, this is a book, The Witches, it's a Roald Dahl book. Roald Dahl mm -hmm. wrote what, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, mm -hmm. uh, James and the Giant James Peach. And Giant Peach. I read yeah. this book to my daughter, and it was a little bit scary for her. I may have to try it again. But tell us what the basic <laughs> idea of the movie is. You play, it's a little bit different from the book. Uh, well, the, the basic idea is uh, my grandson, uh, who's lost both of his parents, is, I, I am now raising him, uh, basically uh, uncovers a coven of witches. And I help him, uh, well, we have to take them on. Yeah, because they, they turn children into mice, right? To mice, yes. exactly. I, I hope that was yes. a spoiler alert type of item. But uh, and <laughs> where did you shoot the movie? We shot in London last year. Was that fun being in London? It was amazing. It was amazing being in London, but you know, uh, there were a lot of things happening, a lot of endings of uh, my favorite, you know, shows and things. Oh, so you so. missed American television when you were there? No, I, I there, okay, when I say endings, uh, uh, the Avengers, you know, they were ending and I have a lot of friends who are, you know, in the Marvel movies and so I wanted to go to that premiere and then Game of Thrones was ending. And oh. It was like a lot of heartbreak for me, ah. a lot of heartbreak. I didn't realize you were such a nerd, Octavia. I did not know this about you. I like it. So you're you're into the Marvel movies? Oh my God, yes. Yeah. Honey. I, I, you know, I literally my little co-star that you saw in that clip. Yeah. Um, I what I'm normally a person I like to go to movies on opening weekends if I don't go to the premiere, and I'm in London. I don't know the place, so I, you know, finally found a theater and everything was sold out. So I started hitting everybody up because I love Captain America. Uh -huh. I've loved him before I got to know him. And I'm <laughs> thinking if something happens to Captain America, it's gonna be bad. So I started asking everybody, you know, uh, did anything happen to Captain America? And I finally, <laughs> nobody would tell me. So I cornered my little co-star and um, he kind of alluded to something that something happened to Captain America. So I was panicked, but oh. you know, we found out. that. But, he oh, he didn't tell you what happened again. Oh, really? So you like, <laughs> you wanted to know you had such interest in this, you wanted the movie ruined for you before you saw it. No, I just didn't want to be panicked in the theater and like sobbing uncontrollably. Now, <laughs> I have something to tell you, and I hate to be the one to tell you this. Chris Evans is not really Captain America. I know! 
know, I know. But I just, I, I loved him <laughs> as Captain America, and I love Captain America. <laughs> Here's the thing. We were in that theater, and there was a moment that um, <laughs> Thor's hammer was summoned, and then yeah. we realized Captain America who summons it. In America, that went over like gangbusters, you know, crazy. Right. In London, my friend and I that went, we were the only two people screaming. It was like, they're very proper British people. They probably they thought, understand. they're like, these Americans are crazy. They're obsessed with Captain America. They're obsessed with their own. <laughs> Pretty much. Well, Pretty much. It's very good to see you. Uh, I'm glad you're doing well, and happy belated birthday. Octavia Thank Spencer, you. The Witches, premieres tonight exclusively on HBO Max. We'll be back with Jay Farrow. Congratulations on making it to the end of a YouTube video. Why not celebrate by clicking the subscribe button? You earned it.